Hello and welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Beth and if you're new here, welcome. I like to go over budget saving tips as well as like coupon hauls and easy cheap meal prep for you to save a little bit of money with your family. So I don't know about you but lately my grocery budget has really been like basically busted. Let's just put it that way. Like I try to stay in budget and it's just not working and I keep trying to rearrange it. And every week I go to the grocery store, I'm just like astonished by the prices. So for the month of April, I'm gonna try something new and all the meat I buy, I'm gonna try to make sure it's either on sale or on like clearance. So it has to have like a discount sticker. And we're gonna see if that goes ahead and helps it. I mean, I normally go ahead and shop through my pantry and my freezer before I meal prep, you know, for the week anyway. So I kind of do that part of it, but I usually go ahead and, you know, just pick up whatever meat I want that week. So instead, what I'm going to go ahead and do is try to stock up when it's on sale or cheap, and then I will have, you know, that meal when I want to go ahead and use it. So we'll see how this goes. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what I did find this week. I went in the store and I did luck out. I know Aldi, I don't know what day they marked down their stuff. Honestly, I've gone in like random days of the week and I, you can find stuff pretty much every day. It just depends on the time of day you go. It's really a hit or a miss. It's not like if you go, you know, Sunday first thing when it opens, you're definitely going to get a clearance sticker. It's not like that. It's definitely hit or miss. And it depends on how busy your store is too. What it is, is a few days before their meat is going to expire, like they're not expire, but like their best sell by date. Is when they go ahead and market sometimes it'll be 50% off sometimes it's a couple of dollars in this case today a lot of them were marked off two dollars off a piece which it definitely brought down the price significantly on some of the meat that I'm about to show you I do find if I go like first thing when the store opens I tend to have better luck at getting these types of deals and it's probably because you know they haven't been picked over by other people but again it is gonna depend on how busy your store is because I have multiple all these by me and the one I go to, I swear every single time there is clearance stickers, where the one closest to me that I go to the most, if I go first thing in the morning, like right when it opens, I definitely find some. But if I wait till like later in the day, and when I say later in the day, I just mean like 10, 30, 11 o'clock in the morning. So not even like late in the day, they're all gone and they're already taken. So if you want to save that kind of money, you probably have to get up a little bit early on the weekend or just fit it into your schedule. Or again, you might luck out randomly throughout the day. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump in and show you what I've got this week. Okay, so first thing I found was at Aldi, their chicken breast was on sale for $1.99 a pound. So I went ahead and it had a limit of two, but I actually had to run into two different Aldis, so I got two at each of them, so I ended up getting four. Um, this is not from Aldi. They had a $2 off of this big salmon, so it brought this thing down to $8.67. So what I'm gonna do for me is I'll just go ahead and I cut it up into how I would, you know, cook it. It's great in the air fryer. Usually I'll pop it in the air fryer um, for lunch. You can even do it from frozen. So I'll just go ahead and cut it up into individual sections, or sometimes I'll do, since it's me and my husband, when I cut stuff up like this and freeze it, I go ahead and do it how we would eat it for a dinner. And that's the other thing too, like this for instance, it says use or freeze by April 6th. Today is the third, so I still have three days to even get it in the freezer and it's gonna last a while in the freezer anyway. Then they had this ground beef, $2 off. Again, it made this entire package $8. This was probably the best deal were these bratwurts. It brought the price down to $1.50 for a whole entire package, so I got two of those. I'm not a huge fan of bratwurts, but my husband likes them, and I'll still eat them. Then at another grocery store by me, which is Tony's, they had these shrimps on sale. They were buy one, get one free. They ended up making each one of these $3.50. And then this bacon, at least by me, this was a good deal. Same thing, they had a digital coupon. I went ahead and clipped it, and it was it made each one of them $3.50 for the entire package then, which, again, is a good price out by me. My sister lives in Iowa, and I don't know what the bacon is out there, but I remember her telling me what her bacon prices were, and it was way cheaper than me. So definitely depends on the area that you live in. 
um, whether these prices are good or not. But I definitely thought that was a good price for the chicken. I mean, lately I've been seeing it for like $2.50, $3, sometimes $4 a pound for the chicken breast. It's absolutely insane to me. But that's what I found this week. So like I said, we will go ahead and see what I can get for the rest of the month. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and, you know, freeze this just the way I would. So like another example for like the bacon, usually we don't eat the entire pound with the two of us. So I usually cut them in half and then I freeze them in the package just like that inside of a Ziploc bag. So then when I need it, I just take one at a time. So this is four meals right here for me and my husband. Same with the chicken breast. Usually we'll have one or two chicken breasts um, per meal. So it just depends on what else I'm serving. Sometimes I'll butterfly them. So we'll eat one chicken breast for the two of us. And I freeze that as well. So what I'll go ahead and do is I will freeze some of them whole. So if I'm going to throw them in the crock pot or whatever, they're ready to go that way. I go ahead and slice some thin. I also cube some for like taco meat. And I even put some through my meat grinder um, so I can have, you know, ground chicken as well for like chilies and stuff like that. Same with these bratwurts. I'll go ahead and take them out of their package. If you have a bigger family though, and you know you're going to use five at a time, you could throw them in the freezer just as is. It's just easier for me as a family of two, as well as if you're an individual person, you can still buy stuff in bulk and just freeze it individually. Then you could just take it out of your freezer as you need it. One last thing I forgot to mention is if your grocery store has a sale, but they're completely out, like Tony's this week was out of a fish deal they had, you can go to their customer service and see if they do rain checks. I know like most people know this is a thing, but some people may not, or like myself, I knew it was a thing, but I kind of had forgotten about it. It's definitely worth going to customer service and just asking if they offer a rain check for that item. That way you can get it at that same exact discount price, but in the future when it's back in stock. So even if they say no, it couldn't hurt to ask. It only takes a few minutes. I did luck out where they did offer um, a rain check as long as it was in their sale ad, which it was. So now I've got two weeks to use the coupon that they gave me. So next week when I go to the grocery store, I can see if they have it back in stock. So I can go ahead and get that same discounted price. Hopefully that helps you. All right, I know it doesn't look like a ton here, but like I said, I like to go ahead and portion it out the way I would go ahead and, you know, eat it. So inside of a lot of these bags are a bunch of other, like, dinner bags. So, like, I have, you know, two thin breasts inside of one bag because we would each have one. Inside of the bratwurst bags, I packaged them up, you know, how we would eat them. Same with the ground beef and the salmon. But I thought you guys might be interested in knowing. So I got a total of 36 meals, not servings, meals. So that's going to be enough for me and my husband. With it being 36 servings, I should definitely have a ton of meat for most of April. So I should be able to shop mostly out of this going forward. However, what I'm going to do is continue to look at the deals. So if, you know, one weekend there are none, I definitely have, you know, stuff from the past. So we'll see how this goes. Wish me luck and I hope it helps you too. I hope this gave you some ideas on how you can hopefully cut down on some of your spending of your grocery budget and help us all stay sane as, you know, we continue out this year in 2022. Well, thank you so much for watching and have a great day.